Marinette, resist! You have to resist! Out of pure luck, Marinette has made it through five seasons without becoming akumatized. There are instances in season five where she comes close to falling under Monarch's control, but thanks to the support of her friends, she manages to escape that danger each time. She may not be so lucky in season six as the stakes rise as Lila takes over as the new wielder of the Butterfly Miraculous. Lila's power to akumatize people is especially significant for Marinette as the two teenagers once faced off as school time rivals, but are now opposing sides in the battle between heroes and villains. Lila still has a vendetta against Marinette and will likely continue searching for ways to ruin her life, including akumatizations. In this video, we're examining what Lila could exploit to turn Marinette into a full-fledged villain. He'll be back, Marinette. He's just going on a voyage. Of course, voyage! Ladybug may have failed, but Pegabug will bring him back! Number 1. The Loss of a Miraculous Marinette has a lot of responsibility on her shoulders with being the guardian of the Miracle Box. After losing the Miraculouses in Strike Back, she spends all of her time as Ladybug trying to track them down, coming close a few times before Monarch narrowly escapes. After Gabriel returns the Miraculouses in Recreation, Marinette decides to give a Kwame and their Miraculous to a wielder for permanent use. Marinette's decision to separate the Kwamis is to keep them safe. If the Miraculous becomes scattered throughout Paris, most of them with unknown wielders, they are safe from getting stolen in one fell swoop. Unfortunately, that doesn't save the Kwamis or their Miraculous from getting taken individually. Lila stole many files from Gabriel in Revelations, which may include the secret identities of wielders like Nino, Alia, Luca, and Kagami. If she has that information, she could try and potentially succeed in stealing their Miraculouses from them. With their Kwamis, she could follow in Monarch's footsteps and do indescribable damage throughout Paris. In using the Miraculouses to manipulate those around her or equipping her akumatized villains with significant power upgrades, Lila could put Ladybug and Cat Noir in a difficult position. If such an event were to occur, Marinette would feel devastated, likely falling into a spiral of how she failed as a guardian. As in the episode Strike Back, she could be left on the cusp of a panic attack after losing a Miraculous, leaving her susceptible to akumatization. Uh, the ball of the dog! Uh, Felix! He has the yo-yo, and that means he has a Miraculous! Number 2. Her Panic Attacks Speaking of panic attacks, Marinette has become prone to experiencing the condition in times of stress. She nearly has one in the episode Strike Back after losing the Miraculous. While in Season 5 alone, she has numerous moments where she can't catch her breath or concentrate, otherwise overwhelmed by her negative emotions. These moments of panic and desire nearly lead to Marinette's akumatization more than once. In Elation, Monarch almost transforms her into the villain Unmask Her, but Cat Noir interrupts her akumatization by kissing her, shocking her out of her negative emotions. In Derision, Marinette's continued panic attacks regarding a traumatic experience from her past nearly turn her into a villain called Panic, which is very on the nose. The events of Season 5 have already established that Marinette's anxiety can be a trigger for any akumatizations in the future. Lila knows Marinette well, and with that potential weakness in mind, she may manipulate manipulate any situation to make it more stressful for Marinette, be it impacting her friendships, derailing her school life, or trying to end her relationship. Sick! I am sick of it! Why can't I be happy? Why can't I love whoever I want to love? You can't. <laughs> I can't. Number 3. The Stress of Being Ladybug one of the most prominent sources of stress for Marinette is the many responsibilities that come with being Ladybug and how difficult it is to balance them with her personal life. She has to constantly hide secrets from her friends and family, which causes numerous conflicts throughout the series, especially in her relationships, as Marinette breaks up with Luca in truth and initially refuses to begin a relationship with Adrian in transmission because her hero duties get in the way. Another potential stressor comes from work and school. At the end of Season 5, Marinette and her friends have finished the school year and are moving on to the next. With new teachers and classes, it may become more difficult for Marinette to make excuses when Paris needs Ladybug. There are also times like in the episode Ladybug when Marinette's parents forbid her from leaving the bakery. Marinette's expected to help her family run their business, be that cleaning or baking, but she often abandons them in times of need because Ladybug's duties take priority. As Marinette gets older, Tom and Sabine may ask her to help out more, but that will only restrict her time to be a hero. Lila may not know how Marinette's personal life interferes with Ladybug, but each previous example could be a natural or indirect reason for Marinette to be akumatized. Look. I don't know why you felt the urge to start all this, or why all of a sudden you lied to fix this mess, but I'm glad to see you're capable of coming back to your senses. Sometimes. Number 4. Gaining Another Bully Marinette has a lot of school bullies throughout Miraculous Ladybug. There's Chloe, who played the classic mean girl throughout most of the series, doing everything she can to get Marinette into trouble, including framing her for theft like an adoration or ruining a gift she makes for Miss Bustier, as she does in Zombizu. Lila also goes to great lengths to turn everyone in Marinette's life against her. In Ladybug, she convinces everyone that Marinette cheated on a test, and in confrontation, she frames Marinette for altering her classmates' career files. 
While these accusations get debunked, they impact Marinette's relationships, isolating her from everyone else. If these instances weren't enough to cause akumatizations, then the events revealed in Derision were. In the former school year, Marinette's crush on Kim leads to him and Chloe playing a terrible prank, where she's given a box full of spiders. The memories alone make Marinette panic and prove just how much damage a single bully can do to someone else. There's also the possibility that Lila returns to school to torment Marinette herself. She's already established her ability to maintain multiple identities at once, not to mention how adept she is at lying about every situation. If Lila were Marinette's newest bully, capable of using all her predetermined knowledge, Marinette could become akumatized sooner than we realize. I don't get it. Chloe is the meanest person I've ever known. Come on. There are much worse people in Paris right now than Chloe Bourgeois. Number 5. Her Relationship with Adrian Marinette's relationship with Adrian took five seasons to establish, and the road to their successful romance wasn't easy. Marinette pines over Adrian throughout the series even when other characters try to get in her way. She's at odds with Chloe, Lila, and Kagami as all four girls attempt to earn Adrian's affection. Unfortunately for them, Adrian's eye remains on Ladybug until multiplication, when he realizes that Marinette could be more than a friend after all. Season 5 is really when Marinette and Adrian's relationship takes off. Not only do they admit their mutual feelings in transmission, but they have their real first kiss in revolution and say that they love one another in recreation. Many milestones between them have been a long time coming and fans were as happy as Marinette to experience them. This is why Marinette's relationship is the top stressor for Lila to exploit if she wants to akumatize Marinette. There's no denying how much Marinette loves Adrian or how far she will go to protect him from harm. She would sacrifice her happiness in a heartbeat if it meant keeping him safe, like she does in Cat Blanc. The series has already shown what would happen to Marinette if her relationship with Adrian gets taken away, even if she's the one who breaks up with him. In Cat Blanc, Gabriel threatens to take Adrian out of school and away from his friends if Marinette doesn't end their relationship. When she later goes to Adrian's house to break up with him, she is nearly akumatized. But Adrian stops the akuma by destroying it as Cat Noir. Granted, Lila has no way of knowing about this alternate timeline, but she can exploit Marinette and Adrian's relationship just like Gabriel did before. You don't have to do this, Jiki. This means you can finally be in love with Adrian. While Marinette continues to be the best hero she can be, it's no secret that she struggles with continued anxiety and stress. With each season of Miraculous Ladybug, the stakes continue to rise, keeping Marinette on her toes in the fight against evil. Unfortunately, she may be reaching the end of her rope. There's only so much pressure that someone can take before coming to their breaking point, and Lila is the perfect person to keep applying that pressure. There's no doubt that Marinette has an akumatization in her future, but still, with some luck on her side, she has a reliable hero team who can save her when she needs help. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. I was almost akumatized. You're right. We're both being totally foolish.